Can you hear that? You probably can't hear that. Sometimes, sometimes you get to park in a really beautiful spot. Sometimes. Most of the time, I'm parked in the city, but sometimes I get to hear that, and I wish you could hear it. beautiful as it is out, and as crazy as it might seem, I'm not heading to the beach yet. First coffee. All right, coffee's taken care of. Oh, yeah, these are two-day-old donuts now. I'll probably eat them, but I won't enjoy them. But what I will enjoy is that beach weather. It's a little hazy out I've forgotten that's what the beach is like in the morning. I'm liking this. And what a great spot to park. Although I don't think I was supposed to park here. I think I may have gotten away with one this time. So I parked right down over there at the end of the walkway how close I was to the, to the ocean all night. I could hear the ocean all night long. A great place to park. Oh, look what a treat. I get to see whales. I didn't expect to see whales. Look at them, they're so majestic. Until now, I have avoided this area just based on the fact that this is a very popular beach. One of the reasons it's popular is this is one of the few beaches that it's allowed uh, you to drive your vehicle out onto the sand. And one of the other things that's notable about this area is the ever-present wind, which makes it a very good place to fly a kite. Well, a lesson learned on my part, I should probably not avoid popular places. Popular places are uh, probably popular for a reason. This is a cool little town. And now back to the van for a quick breakfast. So now that it's late morning, the sun is out. It's really starting to warm up nicely. It's really beautiful out. But unfortunately, uh, the crowds are out too. So I'm not so interested in hanging out with a lot of people, even if it is beautiful outside. So I think I'm just gonna move along. So after a quick look at a map, I realized I was very close to Oregon. So I took this long bridge toward Astoria and the Oregon coast. Well, I'm heading south down the 101 freeway and it gets a little busy. Uh, of course, as soon as I start rolling the camera, there's not a lot of traffic, but there it's been kind of heavy traffic. Looks like everybody's going the other way at the moment. But um, just to give myself a break, I pulled off and stopped at this natural grocers. The last time I was in this area, I stopped here just to pick up a few things and to take a little break. I was hoping for Oatly ice cream, but they didn't have any. So I may have to stop again. That'd just be terrible to have to stop again and take in the scenery. Uh, doesn't look like much around right now, but um, the 101 will pull in toward the coast and it's gonna get real pretty. The drive's gonna get real pretty in a minute.
sunny, it's not too cold, it's not too warm, just about perfect. It's a little windy, but hey, I can't have it all. It's beautiful out here. This is a really good decision. Sure, some of you will ask. There's the rules. No parking here. Well, I can't park here overnight, but I sure can enjoy it during the day here. And it's probably about time for lunch. So I think I will toast up some of this good sourdough bread I have and make up a sandwich. So lunch is just going to be a sandwich made with a couple of local grass-fed kielbasa. And I don't buy these things very often, but they're really tasty. I'm really still liking my $25 Home Depot special uh, stove here. The only thing is when I have the doors open like I do right now and it's windy, it doesn't work quite so great. So I don't know if you can hear that the flame is kind of sputtering around just because the doors are open. When I close the doors, of course, I don't have that issue, but this is how I like to spend my day when I can with the doors open. So when it's windy, the stove's a little bit of an issue, but not, not too bad. It's doing the job. This is not the healthiest of lunches, but um, I needed some food. I had a salad for dinner last night and oatmeal for breakfast. So I just need food. Uh, this would be quite a bit better if I had some greens or avocado or something, but I don't. So I'm just gonna eat it and I'm gonna enjoy my lovely view. Well, I just took a nap out on the sand. That used to be a summer ritual for me. I used to do it all the time, uh, nearly every weekend during the summer, but um, Washington beaches, I should say Pacific Northwest beaches, are not usually so nice uh, out. In fact, the last time I was in this area, it was pouring in rain and really windy. Um, it's still really windy, which caused me a little bit of a problem. I am now covered in sand. I've just got sand everywhere, my hair all over. So, <laughs> oh well, uh, absolutely worth it. I, it's just such a nice experience to take a nap where you can hear the ocean. I oh, wish I could do that more often. Well, it's still really beautiful out, but the wind is picking up. So that's why I retreated back to the van and made another cup of coffee. Hmm. I think uh, I'd like to sit out there and I probably could, but I'd have to put my sweater on to do that. So decided maybe it's now time to move on. This has been an enjoyable few hours. Uh, having lunch out here, getting to sit out here, enjoying summer finally. It's odd. I don't know about this area because I'm closer to Seattle than down here, but um, we've just recently got summer weather. And yeah, it's only been the last couple of weeks, I think, we've been getting some summer weather. Uh, it's I've been waiting for summer because one of my upgrades to the van was buying a new fridge. And I actually bought that back in September of last year. I've been waiting for warm weather so that I could actually give it a proper review. So now we finally got some warm weather and I can actually get that review done on the fridge. It's kind of a big update and upgrade for me, uh, this new fridge. So I was excited about it, but it hasn't been until recently that I've really known how well it's worked. Uh, just because we've had really cool weather up until now, you can see I, I keep my um, sweater out, and of course my rain jacket I usually keep out because you never really know when you're gonna need that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've just been waiting for summer to get here. Uh, that, I shouldn't say it in a way that sounds like I'm complaining because I, part of the reason that I came up here to the Pacific Northwest was to escape heat. So I, I do like that the summers are milder up here, but I do expect summer to happen at some point. 
but we finally got it. I've got to admit, that sign weren't there. I would probably try to park here all night. I decided to do my usual thing and be lazy and just order something in a restaurant. Part, part of why I do that is I, I like to put a little money into the economy, local economy, wherever I go. So I always feel obligated to do that. But, you know, I am lazy too. But anyway, I went down to a, a little pizza place um, here in Manzanita and they said it's gonna be an hour for your pizza. So that gave me a little time to walk back down to the beach, which is always a good idea. So I've been walking around for a few minutes here, waiting, and uh, I just realized it's not windy anymore. I don't know where the wind went. Windy all day till right now. That's all right. good. Except I'm not going to eat it here. I think I'm going to move on. I thought about just parking here for the night, but there's a bunch of signs around saying absolutely no camping and no sleeping in vehicles. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just move on. Although I guess I could try it. Maybe change my channel name to uh, Stealth Camping with Static Camper Van. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with my gut here and say I'm going to move on to some place different or better or both. I'm going to be perfectly honest. As I was driving out of town, I was thinking, yeah, I could probably park in Manzanita and be fine. I'm sure I could have. But really, I just wanted an excuse to come up and eat my pizza up here. Because why not? Why not? So I didn't go back to Manzanita to do my stealth camping. Instead, I went to an undisclosed location, and it definitely had some advantages. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.